Hello! We are in Central California, looking for fossilized crabs in the outcrops of Monterey Formation after the winter rains. Finding crab imprints is exciting, and this stone may even have not just a crab, but also remnants of an ancient fish, a piece of a tail with a few vertebrae. The rock is called dolomite, and it's very soft. Some stones are still wet, which makes them even more fragile. The crabs are tiny and have round bodies, hence the common name pea crabs. They are believed to live between shells of large bivalve mollusks. It's a good hiding place. On this trip, we found lots of shells in the dolomite deposits. These finds made the entire picture complete. We have crabs and the place they lived. Plus, as always, we see the imprints of crab eggs. At least, I think they are from crabs, but it could be fish eggs as well. Imagine, eight million years ago, these crabs inhabited warm, shallow sea, using clams as shelters. When the crabs shed their exoskeletons, the ocean waves scattered the molted skins all around. The skins got stuck to the bottom and buried under many layers of sediments to be petrified over the millennia, quietly waiting until somebody's hands released them from their captivity into a new world full of cars, buildings, and two-legged creatures filled with curiosity. The finds of plant imprints are known in this area, although we only see fragments. There are also strange spots on the rocks. I wish I knew what they mean. We checked a few new places but didn't find much. Some crabs that have different color, less orange, more brown, and plenty of shells. We have a separate video with more details about the fossils, including the names of the crab species. The goal of this video is to share the thrill of discovery with you. So, enjoy! And until next time, happy fossil hunting! Bye bye!